Hi babes, Lexi Luxury here. How the hell are you? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Here on my channel we do things like fashion, beauty, hair, lifestyle, self-help tips, you know, pretty much whatever. If you like any of those things, make sure you click that subscribe button. We have new videos every Sunday and Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. It's a new thing I'm trying out, guys. We're gonna have a schedule. I know, who is she? 2021, you know, new year, new me, all that. In today's video, we are talking about how to apply clip-in extensions on thin hair. For the longest time, I thought that my hair was too thin to put extensions in. Curls Queen reached out to me and they were like, hey, can you try out these extensions on your channel? Tell the Lexinator fam what you think. I was like, you know what? Just send them on over, I'll figure it out. I am so glad I did. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, before I started filming this video, I hadn't put in a set of clip-in extensions probably since high school. I'm 24 now, so that was a solid that was a long time ago. Before we get started, make sure you give this video a big ass thumbs up if you like it already. All right, let's get into the video. Okay, so starting off, I just wanted to show y'all my natural hair. This is it straightened. You guys know my hair is curly, but for those of you who are new here, I did straighten this, blow dry it. Don't worry, I put tons of heat protectant on it and I took very good care of it. But you can see that the extensions actually match my natural hair really nicely, thank God. And I'm just gonna pull these out to show you guys what the quality looks like and how many of each clip we have. So we have four of the four clips, two of the three clips, and then four of these little two clip options as well. I really like a set of extensions with a variety of different sizes. It really helps a lot, especially when you do have thin hair. I'm so glad they had so many of the two clips because that's mainly what I use in this. So I am going to take down my hair, show you guys what it looks like. Yep, that's it. That's all I have. <laughs> and I'm just gonna section it off so that I can get the smallest, smallest section of hair on the nape of my neck that I can still tease. So I'm just gonna take all this hair here, grab my teasing comb and just go ahead and start back combing it. This is what I used to do in high school and it worked like a charm. I just take some hairspray and I actually ended up switching combs and then I just keep back combing after that. So you wanna back comb, hairspray, then back comb. I'm starting with the first two clip here just because obviously this is the smallest part of my neck. So I'm just gonna place that two clip right onto my teased hot mess and it's gonna hold so much better that way. I promise you want to make sure that your clips are very secure to your head if it feels like they're wobbling around and like they're gonna fall out they will sis so make sure it feels good if you're teasing and hairspraying it'll be just fine then I'm just gonna repeat the steps all the way up um, well actually not all the way up I'm just gonna do a couple rows as you guys will see here but I'm gonna go ahead and shut up and let you watch Okay, so I don't know if y'all caught that, but I only put in two of the two clips and one of the three clips. And now I'm just grabbing just enough hair to cover up the top weft. You don't wanna grab too much because we are gonna do a half up, half down sort of look. So once you have your hair on the top, you're obviously just gonna want to gather that. I learned this in another video, but basically you're going to take your finger or the back end of a comb and go diagonally up from the front part of your ear and part the hair that way. Way, this is gonna allow more hair to fall backwards to cover up those wefts and it's also just gonna look way more natural it's not gonna look so sparse and then you're gonna section that top portion that you have in half so the idea here is that we're gonna be placing some wefts in between so that we can get that longer updo style so you're gonna do the same teasing method but you're going to do it in the center of the top section of hair so once you have that teased you're gonna take another two clip and then I just clipped this one downwards just like how I clipped my other ones once I made sure that was secure I actually ended up taking another two clip and I clipped it the opposite direction but right behind that one that I just put in if that makes sense I tried to show you guys on camera so hopefully you guys can see just enough but I just did the same exact thing just the other way around and right behind that clip that I just put in then I'm just gathering all of my hair up here 
and making it into a nice little top section. Once again, just making sure that the back is clear and covered. I did end up straightening out my part just to make sure that it looked nice and clean back there. So I'm just grabbing my little cheetah scrunchie here and doing a little top ponytail. And I'm just gonna loop this as many times as I see fit. You wanna be really careful and make sure you're not pulling out those top webs that you just put in, obviously. But yeah, a scrunchie is very forgiving. It will hide any like crazy wefts that's going on up top since obviously you have less hair up there than you do down at the bottom. Obviously my hair isn't meshing that well with the extensions yet, so I am gonna fix that. But I'm just pulling some hair in the top just to make it a little bit poofier with a little bit more volume, if that makes sense. Putting some hairspray in just to get the flyaways gone and clean this up. And then of course I am going to melt this hair together. So. When I do this, I make sure that I'm straightening my natural hair. And then for the second run through, I'm going with the extensions. That is my biggest tip for making your extensions mesh together. If you're having issues with your extensions matching your natural hair, I highly recommend just curling them, either wand curling them or curling them with a straightener. Just as long as you curl your natural hair with the extension, it will blend so much more seamlessly that way. That's such a good hack. Okay, wow. First of all, was not expecting this to go this well i don't know guys it's been just so long since i have put extensions like clip and extensions on my head this is like a crazy feeling right now i feel like this is a blast from the past like am i in high school i don't know i'm telling you like i've just been on this hair wave for such a long time and i also just have always hated my natural hair now i love it you guys know my relationship with my hair now but i honestly didn't think after damaging my hair for 10 years and having to go through this brand new hair journey that my hair was compatible with clip and extensions but here we are and i'm like confident with it like nothing's showing there's no clips out of place let's talk about the hair real quick quality is great if i was going to be super nitpicky i would say that i would want the ends to be a little bit thicker but with my hair type and the way that it is i feel like this just looks so much more natural i'm also super happy that this whole like up situation worked out on the first try i'm just so happy like this is amazing i can't believe that this is like a hairstyle that i can rock now love the color it's definitely like multi-dimensional enough to match Match my hair I mean you guys can tell obviously which pieces are my natural hair but what's cool is that you can't really tell the difference between the two when they're brushed together well babes I have zero minutes left on my memory card so I'm just gonna leave you with this before y'all take off make sure you hit that subscribe button turn on your post notifications and give this video a big ass thumbs up if you want to see more like this I love you guys so so much and I will see you in my next one bye